text going so my eyes was just uh, a little bit you know conflicted it was a little bit you know I couldn't really see clearly there so that was the only thing the spectator didn't do it to uh, irritate any of us but, but for me initially it was uh, it was a little bit tough to focus on the shuttle um, secondly uh, the toughest opponent to beat it really depends on the arena the you know where you're playing which shuttles I'm playing with etc etc but you know Anthony Ginseng he's been playing so well recently and you know Winning Singapore Open and uh, the Asian Champs as well, so he's obviously also the main speed. And for me, I'm just really, really proud about my performance today. It's not easy to win in front of a filled historic Sinayan Stadium. So it was one of the most fun experiences I've had in my active management career. This was an amazing experience. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we can see that you are actually dominating the game today. May you may share some insight for us how you what your strategy when facing when the team because he tried to smash, giving you a lot of smash. So and maybe for the second question, what your next plan? Because uh, as we know, uh, the Olympia the Olympic 2024 is uh, is coming very soon. So is there any uh, nearest tournament that you are trying to uh, get the title? Thank you. Oh, that was two questions, yeah? What was the first one? <laughs> how, what, when you are, how, uh, your strategy? Your oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, obviously, Ginseng, he's way more technically talented than I am. Uh, he's playing spectacular badminton. It's so fun to watch. Maybe I'm playing a little bit more boring. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, you know, obviously, I want to play my game plan, and I have to get Ginseng away from this game plan. And today, it worked really, really well for me. I played with... Um, a good balance in my game, a good balance between defense and attacking, and all in all, I'm really, really satisfied about my, my game today. Um, secondly, I, my plan right now is to just make sure that my body is healthy. I'm just coming off an injury, I didn't have much practice before coming here. So I just want to make sure that my body is healthy and strong, and then uh, there are so many tournaments coming up where I hopefully can perform again. Uh, congrats for our doing. Uh, Axelsen, besides rivalry with uh, senior athlete like Ginting, uh, what do you think about uh, rivalry with young athlete? And could you please uh, give an example of one or two player, two young player that uh, who are tough and can uh, make a rivalry uh, difficult, especially for the Olympics? Um, I think, to be honest, the men's singles category is so tough to predict. Um, Obviously, I've been really fortunate and, and really proud that I've been able to perform in the major tournaments uh, for the like, past few years. But saying that, there is the, the field is so tight. There are so many players who can beat each other on a given day. So every player, there is you know in the top ten, top twelve, there are so many talented players. So I don't want to name just a few. It wouldn't be fair to all the others. I think we are a big group of players who are, can play really well. And uh, yeah, you know, you never know what happens. I'm just trying to enjoy this win right now. This was a major win for me, and yeah. All right, congratulations, uh, Victor, for your win. So this can be said, this is a comeback for you, right? To be back in the podium, and congratulations on that. And uh, could you actually uh, express your uh, feeling for getting back on the podium, on podium, especially here in Pistora? And as we know that, as you already said that uh, this door, uh, will this will be the probably will be the uh, last game to be held in Historia for the Open. So, especially a lot of memories for you. So, can you actually elaborate that? And the uh, last question will be: There's actually. Uh, so oh, you, oh. <laughs> yeah, we just started the first one. Okay. Okay. What was the first one? Uh, the first one is the how do you feel? Uh, okay. Back on the, on the, on the, on the, 
course, and then we take it home. <laughs> um, once again, I feel if I'm actually really, you know, speech speechless right now. You know, I never thought that I could win Indonesia Open for the straight third time. I think um, here last time at the Stor Stadium, as you say, in a filled arena where everybody was against me except of a handful of Danish fans. <laughs> Um, so this was a really, really big win for me, and I'm just so thankful to have had this experience, um, winning or losing, I want to put that aside, but just for badminton playing in this arena is, will be one of those experiences which will stand clear in my mind when, you know, when I'm also done playing. Second one was... The... Uh, memories. Memories. Just the yes. Yeah, I just, yeah, this, obviously it's a shame we're leaving here, I think, there is so many, there's a legendary atmosphere here, um, but I'm also excited to see the new stadium. But um, the memories will, I will always take with me from Estonia. May I? Yeah, no. uh, I think I have. I just have uh, one fun week question, actually. Wow. <laughs> uh, do you have any habits before having a match, like uh, having a Good cup of coffee, maybe. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, obviously, my only uh, ritual, you can say, is to upload the game day coffee pic um, picture on my um, on my uh, social medias, um, and then always, I always prepare my clothing the day before I play, so it's always laying ready um, in a given order. That's the only ritual I have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. See you.